Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are new here, I'm Julian and at either blogs I help Web2 developers to transition to Web3. Quick announcement, I'm launching a bootcamp to become a Web3 developer. It will last 12 weeks and there will be a weekly call where you can ask me any questions. And at the end, I will help you to optimize your online profile to find your first Web3 job. If you want to apply and see the curriculum, you will see the link below. There will be 50 people maximum and we have already booked 30 people. Ether saw a slight fluctuation in value and is currently at $2,500. Optimism is going to decrease the transaction fees by 100 times using Datablob. Arbitrum announced a new feature called AnyTrust Chain with ultra low cost transaction as only the hash of data will be posted on mainnet. The Ukraine DAO flag NFTs sells for $6.75 million. The Solid World DAO aims to raise funds to solve the climate crisis. The DeFi market cap is still trending down currently at $74 billion. Yuan Finance founder Andre Kornhe announced that he is quitting crypto and Web3. Terra now become the second largest blockchain for DeFi apps after Ethereum. The derivative trading protocol ApeX goes live on Arbitrum. The Web3 scaling startup Subspace Labs raised $32.9 million. The city building startup Praxis raised $15 million. The NFT startup Rarify raised $10 million. Girl Drop is the first NFT collection for adult content. Early holders will be eligible for airdrops later. The majority of consensus shareholders requested an audit to investigate irregularities. After collecting $36 million in donation, Ukraine cancelled an airdrop and instead plans to launch an NFT. KPMG Canada buys World of Women NFT. The NFT marketplace Stratos is live on Arbitrum. The Harvard Business Review published guidelines on how brands should use NFTs. Infra and OpenSea block user in listed jurisdiction to comply with US sanctions. Ukraine now officially accept donations in Dogecoin. Hat Hat version 2.90 just launched and includes faster mainnet forking, parallel testing with Mocha, and parallel contract compilation. ETH testing is a tool that allows you to mock blockchain interaction in test. TrueBlocks is a collection of libraries and tools that improve access to the index Ethereum data. And before we finish, I'm launching a bootcamp to become a Web3 developer. It will last 12 weeks and there will be a weekly call with me where you can ask any question. If you want to apply and see the curriculum, check out the links below. That's it for today. Have a great day.